Dripping is the new vaping. A Yale study has found that one in four teens have tried an alternative vaping technique, which health experts warn is potentially dangerous. E-cigarettes are typically equipped with a refillable cartridge, which feeds liquid to a heating coil to create inhalable vapor. With dripping, the cartridge is discarded and drops of e-liquid are applied directly onto the heating coils or atomizer. The technique reportedly produces a stronger hit and thicker smoke. Users can more conveniently switch flavors and even customize or rebuild their coils. Researchers have found that higher coil temperatures associated with dripping emit more harmful chemicals. E-liquid spillage also poses a concern since it often contains nicotine that is more easily absorbed through the skin. Due to the many health concerns regarding vaping, the FDA has decided to regulate e-cigarettes the same way it does conventional tobacco products, though the new rules have yet to be released. Keep watching for more vaping stories. The e-cigarette is comprised of three main parts, the cartridge, atomizer and battery. When in use, a sensor activates the heating device, which turns liquid nicotine in the cartridge into vapor. This allows the user to receive a dose of nicotine and exhale vapor. The battery can be charged like a cell phone using various devices. Colorado students are using vapor pens to smoke marijuana in class undetected. Vapor pens work similar to e-cigarettes and leave no skunky smell. Ah, oh, that's why they call it high school. Surgeon General sounds alarm on youth vaping. America's top doctor has called for action on the use of e-cigarettes among young people and released a report emphasizing its harmful effects. E-cigarettes have been touted as a healthier alternative to regular smoking, which produce tar and carbon monoxide through burning. It is now the most commonly used form of smoking among youth. A 900% increase was reported among middle and high school students between 2011 and 2015. But e-cigarettes still contain the drug nicotine. When developing teen brains are exposed to it, they are more susceptible to addiction, mood disorders, and lower impulse control. Some claim e-cigarettes are a gateway to other tobacco products, with some evidence suggesting it may be linked to alcohol and drug use as well. Secondhand aerosol released into the air during vaping has also been found to contain potentially harmful cancer-causing chemicals. The FDA has already restricted the sale of vaping devices to minors under 18, but the U.S. Surgeon General believes further action is necessary. He is calling for smoking bans to include the use of e-cigarettes, an increase in taxes and prices, and regulation of marketing practices that mostly target young people. Rate of e-cigarette poisoning in kids surges in the U.S. A study says the number of children poisoned by nicotine and e-cigarettes in the United States surged between 2013 and last year. Researchers attribute the huge rise in poisonings to the exponential growth in the popularity of e-cigarettes during the same period. According to a report, the number of children aged under 6 poisoned by e-cigarette products in the U.S. rose from 14 per month in January 2012 to 223 per month in April 2015. That's a rise of more than 1,500%. Analysis of calls to the National Poison Data System shows that more than 90% of children poisoned swallowed e-cigarette liquid. On average, a poison center in the U.S. receives a call every three hours about a child exposed to an e-cigarette or liquid nicotine. The study says that over a 40-month period, 17,500 children were exposed to cigarettes and 4,000 were exposed to e-cigarettes or liquid nicotine. Liquid nicotine is easily absorbed by the body and can harm the heart, circulation, gastrointestinal and nervous systems. The use of e-cigarettes among U.S. adults doubled between 2010 and 2013, and it's estimated that one in ten of us now vapes. The report's authors advise parents to keep e-cigarettes and refill products away from children, preferably locking the devices up. The researchers also urge parents not to use or refill e-cigarettes in front of their children.